A new state-of-the-art training and resource center is up and running at the Public Works Department. Now PWD can offer tailored on-island training instead of sending staff overseas. In the past we'd have sent our employees out to a generic um, safety training and they would have probably heard about in that training um, safety practices in an auto plant or an industrial kitchen or whatever. In the training on site they were able to review actual photographs of good safety practice on PWD compound and on PWD sites and of course they were able to review some examples of not quite such good safety practices and I think that just shows how, how much more meaningful when we can put our own, own training on in our own facility how much more meaningful it is to the guys. We were fairly fortunate last year that we got funded for the first time a training and safety officer at Public Works Department so that complements very well with the new training facility we now have. The training facility has become necessary because as times change and as the needs of our clients change, we have to continuously retool our staff to ensure that we keep pace with the change in the environment. Additionally, we are an organization that believes in lifelong learning and so we consistently develop programs for our staff that improve their technical skills, improve their supervisory skills, improve their appreciation of the work that they're doing, and so that we are able to improve efficiencies and meet the objectives of our ministry. Providing training for our staff has a significant benefit to our clients, our external clients. They are able to have staff work on their facilities that are better trained, more efficient, are able to work in a more timely fashion, um, have a thorough grasp and mastery of their skills and therefore it results in, in better value for money. Recently, employees completed a rigorous safety workshop in the new facility. It houses 10 computers, reference materials featuring current building codes and a theatre-style 60-seat lecture room. Because of the organisation of how it's set up, where learning is the key, um, it helps me to plan out my work better. I, it always tells me I have to think ahead. I can't just wait till the day comes and think about what I want to do. I have to plan ahead. And that has been impressed in my mind because of the institution or the facility. Benefited me to the point that training is a must now. You always have to be. Every year, every month, you have to look for new techniques. and It, it always has to be in the back of your mind. You, you can't just say, well, I've achieved a diploma or I've achieved this skill and that's it. You always have to be looking at new skills because there's always something that can make the job be faster, efficient, safer, cleaner, better. And education, training is the key. It motivates you. It, it, makes, you, it makes you feel, it brings up the morale. It just makes you feel great to be a part of the Public Works family, be a part of a an organization that um, just look out for the people, look out for the employees. It push us a little higher right now that we could have, you know, move on further. So I'm really glad it come in right now. Yeah, this was overdue. The Public Works Department didn't pour a lot of money into the project. They decided instead to use a building they were already renovating for the new facility. They also recycled old computers and other equipment. The new training facility, uh, fortunately it wasn't a major uh, expense. We were renovating an existing building, so uh, basically we, we had some cost of renovation and then cost of new furniture and equipment. And indeed a lot of the, um, a lot of the equipment we were uh, able to reuse, for example, um, in the computer lab. Uh, all the computers in there were at no cost as we've upgraded uh, computers in public works. We've kept the older computers and they're, they're now getting a, a good second life in our computer lab. But we've probably, probably um, invested in the order of about 60000 in the new training facility. Yes, it was definitely a collaborative effort. Um, we were able to save a lot by doing all the physical works ourselves. The only items we bought were those that we could not um, salvage from our offices or those that were not really readily available, so we bought some furniture. But all the construction work was done internally, the electrical work was done internally, and the IT work was done internally. And we were able to even refurbish existing equipment that we had in the offices and freshen them up, put them in use in the training facility. PWD will get their investment back in years to come. They'll save on local training instead of overseas programs. The department also plans to rent the new facilities to other government agencies and departments.